Hello, my name is Jurgi and welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to do transitions like this. As you could see, there were a couple of transitions there where that are quite smooth, where you use masks or opacity of layers to mask two scenes seamlessly together. Uh, I got this idea from Sam Calder's video for Jim Shark, where he has a lot of these kind of transitions, which really help to make the whole video feel very dynamic. And because in the video, Sam is traveling in the airport, in a yard with taxis, in a New York City street, you get this feel of traveling and the whole video feels like it has almost like one take. So it's mainly just those kind of transitions where you seamlessly mask two scenes together. And I filmed my example videos close to my home in home city and you can basically film anywhere. The idea is to have like in here where we have the biker going across the screen and that way it kind of masks the scene behind and then we can reveal the next scene so there is just your only your imagination is the limit and i just filmed this quickly just to show the basics of it so let's move this another scene under the first the biker scene you can just have like car going past or someone walking or biking like here or you can move your camera and then go past some kind of object to reveal to another scene. The point is to have something go across the screen so you can mask it and reveal the another scene. I usually like to start uh, from the middle of the uh, scene like where the like here the pike biker is just going past the screen so it's easier for me to start masking so you choose layer opacity and pen tool and then start drawing the mask and with holding the mouse key uh, you can do these bezier corners if you have curved object you can do this as precisely as you want or like me here very quickly usually the object goes so fast that no one is going frame by frame checking out the edge and you can work with the edge by using the feather and now we just choose the mask path and click the stopwatch so now we animate and move the mask or parts of the mask. And I just go to different frames. You can go straight to beginning and end if the mask uh, object goes there easily. But I just choose these and move these keyframes by dragging them. And now they are like out of the picture and the whole scene is what you can see. Now I just go almost frame by frame moving the mask. I'm doing this quite quickly but as I said you can do it as precisely as you want. So this is a very simple method. It takes a little bit of time but I really like these kind of transitions because they are very smooth and let's speed it up a little bit. You just go frame by frame and move the mask or parts of the mask so that the scene underneath comes after the biker goes across the screen. Like here you can see. I really like these kind of transitions. Very smooth, very clean and not such in your face like many transitions people seem to like in YouTube travel videos especially with feather I have 10 here 
so it's not that much like here you can see if you if I put too much then the it starts to bleed but it really depends what kind of object you have and how close it is and how sharp it is so just change the value and I think you're gonna be okay let's render it and check out what it looks like quite nice the scenes I filmed aren't the most exciting but the basic idea is there and let's take another scene here I have this car going past the screen and uh, as you can see there is a lot of rolling shutter effect but don't mind it let's put it over the layer we just revealed with the biker and let's find the mid part and now the idea is to do basically the same choose the car layer and uh, with pen tool we can once again draw the edges of the car just like we did last time and now I'm gonna speed it up a little bit Yeah, just keep moving those and as you can see there is a little bit of the edge isn't perfect but you get the idea uh, another tip I have is these kind of where camera moves behind an object and the object or the texture of the object and colors of it should be quite close each other and that way when you go one scene to another scene it looks almost like it's the same take so here we have this brick wall it's not perfect here but uh, I kind of like it now it's quite hard cut if I just stick them together but I have opacity here in the first layer and I put them put the first layer a little bit above the second and choose the pen tool down here and put keyframes here and here and just track the last one to zero so the opacity is zero and that way the cut is more smooth you can do this also with the mask trick but this, this is quite effective too and uh, and here you can see the other layers is a bit brighter than others so color grade them as close as possible and the quicker the transition is the less noticeable it will be for audience but I kinda like it that it's not the perfect here for some reason there is always the stylistic choice and the gliding here isn't the same speed but I think it kind of works but remember don't use this too much because otherwise it will be full of these transitions and they lose the effect and people start to expect them so I put link in description for video I get this idea from the Sam Calder video for Jim Shark he uses those uh, these kind of mask transitions quite a lot but not always and they are in a way not that noticeable because they are so smooth so they don't like many travel videos have these weird zooms and luma face and whatever and you kind of start to look for those cuts and transitions and not what is happening so these kind of mask transitions can really help in the storytelling too like in this Jim Shark video Sam is traveling so 
the video is quite hectic and that really helps to have these kind of smooth transitions where it goes quickly from place to place like Sam is going he's very quickly going from airport to the taxi and to New York and meet his friends and everything is happening very quickly and you get this travel feel in your video so your imagination is the only limit don't use them too much and just play with it you can do whatever you want you can enhance your storytelling which is you can use these effects in documentaries, travel videos, commercials, your vlogs, whatever. And, uh, and that's about it. And see you next video and keep creating. Bye.